Hi everyone, so today we're going to make a beat entirely on the phone. We're going to use this app called Koala. I'm going to open it up here. It's the red square with the K in it. I like this app because uh, if you're outside and you're just inspired, you can pretty much make sounds. Uh, you can sample sounds from the environment around you. You can make sounds with your mouth and make a cool little beat, uh, sketch out a little idea with this. So as you can see, it's a sort of 16 pad MPC style thing and we're gonna load it up with some sounds. Let's just start with a kick. I'm gonna just beatbox a little kick in. I'm gonna edit the start and end point right here. Maybe pitch it down a little bit. Nice. So with this you can actually add individual effects to these sounds. So if I want the kick to have a little more bass, I just gotta do that. Cool. Now let's make a snare. I'm going to just uh, tap on the table and get a little snare sound. Let's edit that. Let's edit that to fit. Maybe uh, give a little bit of pitch. Nice, let's get a little hi-hat going. You can also uh, reverse these sounds as well. Can't really hear it there, but let's try it on the snare. That's pretty cool, but we don't need that right now. Let's uh, give us a little pitch. Now let's uh, get a little bit of melodic content in here. I'm just gonna record my voice and get a little vocal one shot going. Uh. Let's just leave it at that. Maybe I can. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Cool. So this is sort of our little sonic palette. Now we're going to go into the sequencer and make a little beat out of it. So let's 110. Let's maybe do a two bar loop and let's see what happens. So that's our little beat. Um, I think we can speed it up a little bit. Let's go to 114, here we go. So that's gonna be our little beat. Now let's make a let's make something out of this one shot. Remember that we did? I can map it out against the keyboard by pressing this keyboard thing here. I'm gonna choose a sample. And we can choose a scale to sample this in, which is kind of cool. So pentatonic, let's just keep it in pentatonic. Cool. So let's do a little melody on this. Cool, so nothing to write home about, but just a little idea. Now here is, um, here's where it gets kind of cool. You can actually take that basic loop function and put some really cool effects on top of the whole thing and just give it a bit of life. So let's, let me show you what that sort of sounds like. This is the perform section right here. Give it a bit of tempo delay. Bit of talk box and let's try this cutter thing right here. As you can see, it sort of transformed the whole performance of the beat into something completely different. So now that you have your little sequence and your little samples, 
we want to obviously know how we can export this and send it to people now. So let's have a look at a few of the options that Koala has to allow us to do this. So if I go into the top right hand corner, this is the menu. And one really basic one here is you can actually resample the loop and just take the whole loop that we made and resample it into its own pad. You can see it. You can see it just turned up into there and we can actually just affect the entire loop if we wanted to resample. I'm going to clear that for now. But also if you have Ableton with this particular app, there's some really cool options to link Ableton to Ableton Live and you can play uh, live within the app through Ableton and do some really cool stuff there. But let's go and look at some basic export options as well. You can see the export thing here. You can export individual samples. You can export the whole sequence if you want. There's the Ableton Live link to the set. But um, let's do one of the most basic ones, which is one that I use a fair bit, which is the record song mode. So this, this one basically exports it as an MP3 file that you can text to people. So when I click record song, here we go, recording to start when you press play and stop when you press the play button. So I am ready. So I'm going to set up a couple of an effects panel here. I like this strawberry set here. So as soon as I press play, it's going to basically record uh, whatever this live sort of little performance that I do on this. Let's uh, give it a whirl. Here we go. So there we go. So, you know, not the most inspired performance, but, uh, you know, kind of cool. Nonetheless, we got to see a couple of the little effects. As soon as I stopped this performance, basically I pressed the play button again. You can see it's given me the option to name it. So let's just call this Koala. Let's just call this Killer Koala. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So if I go OK. So now it's actually saved this... Uh, save this whole thing and I can send this to, you know, I can send this to my friends. Just type in whoever you want there and we can send it away. It's saved it as an mp3 and we're good to go. Yeah, that is Koala for you and that's one of the, I'm sure many hundreds if not thousands of apps that exist on the app store that you can produce on your phone with, purely on your phone. And I hope you enjoyed it and give it a try.